Hey, Burgundy Bomber here, and I am here with Graham of GB Guns. We've had a ton of requests for review on a 40 cal, and up until now, we have not had one available. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is we have the M&P 9 Shield 2.0. And on my hip here, I also have the M&P 40 Shield. So we're going to go ahead and do five shots from seven yards uh, from both guns. And also a slow-mo to show recoil. And then we'll give our impressions. All right. So my first five shots from seven yards is going to be with the M&P 40 Shield using the Black Hills remanufactured 180 grain. I'm going to go ahead and go for the bottom target. All right, so five shots from seven yards on the M&P 9 Shield 2.0 is the Remington Range 124 grain, and I'm gonna go in for the top target. Starting with the same ammo, I'm going to start with 40. Real briefly, part of why we haven't done many 40s is despite having close to 200 firearms and 19 different calibers, 40 isn't one of them. I just haven't felt the need to. So this is uh, an uncommon experience for me to be shooting 40, but uh, see how I do. Bottom target. for the nine um, also wanted to point out we're just using regular FMJ ammo for the nine that kind of matches the fact that although the 40 is Black Hills it's remanufactured so the quality level there is probably about equal uh, another small note is since this is the 2.0 as Burgundy Bomb would say the gripplings are more aggressive which might give it an edge top target five shots So for some reason, I shot better with the 40. <laughs> and uh, that could be because it's a sample size of one grouping, or it could be that for some odd reason, the 40 actually feels a little better in my hand. Just went and verified, and yes, the frames are the same size. In fact, the, the guns are nearly identical, if not identical in size. 
save from some minor differences between the 2.0 and 1.0. But for me, the 40 worked better. And uh, part of why I've never owned a 40 is I've never really seen the reason. Uh, yes, you do get more capacity than 45, but less than nine. Yeah, you get more power than nine, but less than 45. That's debatable depending on ammo, don't quote me. But in a gun like this, or if you're in a state with a restrictive magazine capacity, we have a seven rounder and an eight rounder. Eight for the nine, seven for the 40. One round of difference to be able to deliver more energy. I could see the case for arguing 40 if a gun of this size or similar is what you're going for. I have to side with the 40 on this one. All right, so my thoughts on the 9 versus the 40. They are essentially identical. The only thing from uh, my point of view is that the 9 does not have the external safety and the 40 does. That is, I'm sure, an option. Uh, they do have the same white three-dot sights, similar build, mag release, everything looks identical, the trigger looks identical. I will note that the 40 actually felt a lot crisper. I felt like I had better control. Um, it didn't feel like it had any more recoil than the nine millimeter. So what's awesome is that you do get more power and it's still compact so you can carry it. Um, as far as the griplings right here, the nine millimeter was a little bit more aggressive on this 2.0 compared to the 40, just feels really good in the hand. So overall, I'm gonna have to choose the 40 as well.